Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB 25 video. And today, guys, I'm going to be going over the best recruiting package combination that you have to have. It is so overpowered. I, it's unbelievable. As always, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. By the time you're watching this, we're hopefully past 26K. But if we're not, let's make sure to get us over that line. And of course, let's keep pushing to 30K and hopefully one day 100K. If you're new here, that's greatly appreciated. And if not, as always, regardless, can you give this video a big thumbs up? Every like goes a long way, especially right as we post. So if you guys can, right when you click onto this video, give this video a big thumbs up. It takes a second and helps out a lot. Can we get 500 likes in this video? Be great. And comment down below if you have any other tips to add to this or any other OP recruiting combinations that you may have seen. If you also haven't already seen, we are running an underdog fantasy league to compete against me in fantasy football. If you'd like to compete against me and show me your fantasy football knowledge, go down below. Join at the link down below. If you haven't already signed up for Underdog, make sure to sign up and use my code. It supports the channel. And of course, it does give you a bonus and sign up special. That's pretty crazy. They just upped it up. To, they upped it to, I believe, $1,000. So make sure you do check it out. And yeah, if you need any help with that, hit me up over on Twitter and I'll help you out. And also, there's currently a Kelsey free pick on Underdog. So make sure you sign up and go use that free pick. It's basically free money. If he gets more than half a yard, which is one yard in a game, you do automatically win that. It doesn't get easier than that. So make sure you go down below and use my code so you can get this free pick. So what is the most OP recruiting combination? I've been testing this a lot in my online league. Again, a lot of the advice I give is it's a mix of offline and online league, but when it comes to like best methods and best combinations, I'm using an online league, which honestly it will kill the CPU obviously, but online, if you're competing against other users, this has worked very consistently. I know this is important for a lot of people because some offline methods don't exactly apply to users because they're not as dumb as a CPU may be, but this is the most OP combination that I could show you guys. So first and foremost, when coming over to coach abilities, there's a few packages here, as you guys can see, we're talking about recruiting in this instance, but honestly, guys, I think it's one of the most overpowered packages in general. Being an elite recruiter is just so, so great. Like it is so like it, it's you demoralize the rest of the league because you're getting the best recruits. You're out recruiting them with ease. They're not able to bring in talent. Even if you're just hoarding talent, keeping the five stars and elite players away from other programs only hurts them. It's just hurting their recruiting class regardless. So it's great. Like it's a double whammy. You're getting better. They're getting worse. So. For this to work, you do need Elite Recruiter. You can start without it. There's a way to do it without Elite Recruiter, but I'd prefer you get it. So you could start the method and the setup of doing this without Elite Recruiter, but just make sure you do work towards Elite Recruiter because it helps a lot. Or pick a current coach that already has it. That's helpful as well. You can also do the sim method as you went through where you start as a coordinator and you just sim through two seasons as like Georgia and you can just cheese the fact that they can get top five recruiting classes easy, then take a new job and you know so on and so forth. You can also just sim. You could just join the team you want. Let's say you want to be the coach of LSU or Notre Dame. You could just become their coach and just recruit a five-star class, a top five class pretty easily with them. So that's another way to do it. But anyways, that's how you unlock your elite recruiter. So the ones that I'm talking about here is first tier two on any of these. Remember this first set of eight right here, are all the same, just for different positions. Tier two and tier three are so good. And they're not the, oh, there's only the first step. So let, let, let me break this down for you step-by-step. Tier two, recruiting actions give a bonus. So for instance, recruiting actions are like the send DM, contact friends and family, send the house. You get a bonus when doing recruiting actions. So this is good in the early st stages of recruiting. You get a bonus for your recruiting actions, right? That's the first thing. So let's just say you're spending 50 and you're getting, let's just create fake numbers. I don't, on a scale of zero to 10, if you're sending 50, let's say you're getting seven of impact on, on, your, on your actions. This gives you a bonus. Now, maybe you're hitting at a nine while everyone else is hitting at a seven. Now, a lot of people might have this package, right? So that's fine. But this is why I'm going to go through a few other tips. So stay for the, stay for the video because there's some other caveats to this. So you're going to want to make sure you follow to do this properly. But let's get to tier three. Always be recruiting. Increase weekly hours. So as you guys know, the fault is 50 hours. If you have always be recruiting and some of your offensive coordinators or defensive coordinators also have it for these positions, you can get up to 75 hours. A lot of teams have 50, some have 60, some have 65. So few, at least early on, have 75. Having 75 is so important because just think about that. You basically have half more than anyone else starting. So most people have 50, you have 75. So let's say all things are equal. You're going to destroy them with that 75. Let's say you're tied. You're, you're tied overall, same program, same everything. You're going to destroy them. Let's say you're slightly behind. You're going to destroy them. Let's say you're even a little bit more than slightly behind you're going to catch up because you're going to be able to hit them with an extra 25 each week. And this really gets better as you keep thinking about the process. So let's say you're sending 75, you're sending send the house, 
and contact friends and family. 75 total points. With tier two, those also get a bonus. So not only are you sending extra hours, like 25, half more, you're also getting maybe an extra 15 to 25% of impact. It is just so OP. Now there's some caveats to this and there's some extra additions. So let's say you have elite recruiter. There's a way to keep this going. So right here, tier one. And I'm so, and the best part about it is they're early tiers. You don't have to go all the way to four to get these. Tier one is gain additional interest for every 10 hours spent. So look how this art, it's like compounding interest in real life, right? You guys know that it, it's compounding. So not only are you getting 75 hours or 65 hours, right? You're only getting more hours. Not only are you getting an extra 15, 20% potential bonus on those hours. Now you're gaining additional interest. So not only is it more impactful, let's say, let's say for every 75 points you were spending, you were getting like this much. Now for every 10 hours spent, you're spending 7.5 hours or 6.5 hours. You might be getting this now. And you'll quickly see when you have these packages, how crazy it is. And I have a little story that I did mention in another video. Sorry for hearing it again, but I'm going to go through it again. And then as we get through tier two is my school grades have a larger impact. This is the second stage of recruiting. Now let's say you get to the next stage where you're in the top five and you can hard sell them. When you send that hard sell, let's say you have a bunch of A's or A's and B's, A's and C's. Those may have done this much with the my school rate of large impact. Your hard sell might do this much. Keep in mind for every 10 hours spent. So you're spending 7.5 hours or 6.5 hours worth of tens. So now you're getting this much. And then you go back over here and you're still getting your extra hours. You have your recruiting bonuses. You're getting hit from every angle. Having those four packages makes you like God tier. It is so hard to beat you in that specific position. And there is some more to this. Now, I don't think they're necessary. Tier three, boost the pipeline bonus. I'm not crazy. Like, I don't think I'm not crazy, but I don't think you need that one. I think those first four I mentioned, I do like tier four booster ideal pitch grades. Now, my only thing is you have to get all the way down there. That's 32 points. I'd much rather you stay at tier two and then just get a bunch of these filled out rather than have to spend an extra 16 for each to get to that fourth one. Now, where are the caveats to this? You only get level 50, right? You only can max up at level 50. That means you can only get like 490 points. So keep in mind, you can't do this for everyone. And when doing this, you will have to limit what you do here. So make sure you're very careful to not just do it in every position. Now, what I recommend is doing it on positions that are, are efficient or you, you like you want to be in. So for me personally, I'm going to tell you the story and I'm also going to tell you what I like. So for instance, I was in my online league. I was at rank 10 in, we, in that preseason week for a five-star insane edge rusher. He's a, he's an end. And I thought I had no chance, but I was like, let me send a flyer. I just, I bought some elite. I just had bought that D line package and I had just gotten myself tier two, tier three. And I also bought tier one and tier two. So I was like, let, let me try it. So I send the scholarship right off rip. I went from like 10 to five or six, still pretty behind Clemson, Georgia. And like one other team had a pretty great lead there. And at that point I was like, Ooh, I'm still pretty behind. Maybe I should just jump out. I didn't get as much of a boost. And I was like, wait, I have the 75 hours. If those teams only have 50 or 65, I'm going to be incrementally beating them over the next few weeks. Plus I have all the bonuses on those hours. So I stayed in the race and I haven't seen this before. And in all my sims so far, pretty much it went like this. You knew where you stood after that first scholarship. You either were in a lead, you were in second, or you were at six. And if you were at six at that point after the scholarship and people had a big lead on you, you weren't really coming back. Your only chance was getting an early hard sale. And even then, if the other person also gets the early hard sale, you're out of it. So you were wasting hours. The 75 pretty much allows you to just brute force your way through. It's like just being a brute. Like you could just fight your way through regardless of what everything else, whatever else other variables are in it. You could just fight your way through. So then at that next advance, I applied my 75 hours and I was like, let's see what happens. I, I then went to two. I went from like, let's say Clemson was here or one other team was here and I was like here. I went to like here, it got this close. I waited one more advance. I jumped them like this. That 75 plus those bonuses are so strong. Of course, other teams may have them, but not every team's gonna have them only a few and on top of only a few only a few will also have even less will have the same position as you now where can you make a mistake here i don't necessarily think you want to do this for quarterback now while it's cool you're not recruiting a quarterback every single year and if you do you're only recruiting one so it's not and, and then you're starting your main guy for probably three to four years anyways so you're not they're not seeing the field consistently enough for this package to be super dominant for you you definitely want to be applying it to positions where it can be so dominant so d-line for instance i love this one for me, D-line is one of the first ones I like to do. This is defensive tackles and ends. By doing this, this basically means any five-star DT, and that in that league, I won two D-linemen and one DT by brute force that I was behind on. 
by having this package it basically means that you can fight for just about any d lineman that you're at least within the top 10 on off rip if you're outside of that it might be harder some teams may have crazy starting interest keep that in mind but with with those five stars that are basically all equal across the board or like some have interest and you're like at the middle point this is a great way to brute force your way through and d-line is so important you hit the d-line right the game's gonna be wrecked I've, i played enough college football at least pre like unless a patch happens d-line is so important having a good pass rush makes your corners look good makes your secondary look good gets your turnovers get you pick sixes that is so useful uh, fumble sixes to just keep you in games now the next thing here for me would probably be i'd say defensive line dbs and receivers those are probably the three that i would do at least initially for this bonus because that covers a lot of ground your receiving game getting separation your secondary to play coverage and getting elite elite d linemen elite corners elite receivers are so useful in this game like i said running backs you'll figure it out you can always do you'll, you'll find there's plenty of running backs that with good speed or truck there's different like archetypes you'll find a running back i've been finding running backs there's plenty of quarterbacks and again like with d linemen one team may recruit like five d linemen a year so if there's only 15 really good linemen like seven five stars and maybe a few four star gems 15 you have like you're fighting with 20 different teams for these things for these players so you want to be able to brute force your way through quarterbacks if let's say you have 25 users in your league maybe 32 i'm talking about an online league here specifically and you're there's only a few guys going for maybe half of them maybe like 15 or 18 of them are going for quarterbacks to begin with and they're all going for different pipelines different players you may not even be competing that heavily for quarterbacks of course you want the five star ones and you still have a chance but you have four years to keep getting your quarterback basically maybe two or three with d lineman you basically can you want to be getting them every year and fighting for these players there's more depth to the position at quarterback you probably outside of injury you're starting one guy d line you have backups you're coming out in five sets you're coming out in four you're coming out in three three there's more injuries on the d line in my opinion so that is so important make sure you're just doing it on the right positions you could i mean if you really want to do offensive line or kicker you can offensive line is another good one i'm just not overly concerned about competing for like the top tier o line to me isn't as crazy as like the the premier edge rusher like the premier d lineman the premier defensive tackle chris jones type those players are so elite in my opinion those are the ones you want to be focusing on and of course be careful with elite because these are eight so make sure you are very careful when spending your points and doing this make sure you do always of course go to your other packages and see what you may want in ceo someday see what you want in program builder see what you definitely need before just going in and doing this in all of them but that is the elite that is the elite combination package you do that and you are basically you like if everyone's starting on on four one you're on four four always it is great and if you want to go a step further again it's only five points magnetic personality increased starting interest why is that important you, some people don't care first off increased starting interest means you're more likely to be at one for a lot of players just off rip on your pipeline especially that means that you have a better chance of instant commits that's one i'm not saying you need this one but what's important about it two just the the bluff factor the poker face if i load up and i see like i said i had no idea i could win that guy i'm scared of recruiting players that i'm at nine on i don't even think there's a chance especially when i see a person with a lot of good starting interest i'm like yeah there's no point you may end up kicking out like i would have been kicked out had i not had 75 and was like let me try i ended up winning that battle and beating that first guy but in most situations prior to me figuring this out i was just leaving that like, yeah, i'm not even gonna bother so i would have left and just handed that first team that player instead i fought through so that increased starting interest is like a great it's like a scarecrow it keeps people away so the starting interest especially i don't think an online league it an offline league it matters because you're competing against cpu they're not focusing on that stuff but in an online league it can go a long way in just keeping a lot of elite programs away like ah, i'm not going to waste my points and then the people you are competing with plus the 75 hours. if you have the 75 hours and you have increased starting interest you're basically guaranteed my only problem is i'm trying to limit point spending here so i don't think it's necessary i don't know how much increase interest and starting interest you're going to really get from it but that definitely seems like a great way to just scarecrow people off and just like keep people away from that recruiting battle the less people the better because a lot of variance in how this works especially with visits with losses with deal breakers but yeah guys that's about it for the video hope you guys enjoy if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button let's keep growing to 30k hopefully 26k at the point of when you're watching this if you made it this far please like the video you clearly stayed for a reason i'd appreciate a like and of course comment down below if you have anything else to add any other packages that you see as super elite in the recruiting game or in general and if you haven't already check out the underdog fantasy link down below come join my fantasy league over there in best ball so we can compete against each other it's gonna be a great time and make sure to use my code if you haven't that way you can get the bonus thanks so much for watching follow me on twitter i'm out peace